Hello guys, surprise, surprise, this is episode 7, new update of Refugees of Ember. I'm Miss K2K and after so much time we can go back to this game and enjoy it. And don't mind, my nose is always closed, I think I must be allergic to something. Let's go. There you are, Remy. We've been looking for you. What's going on? We just saw something huge in the forest. Yeah, we think it may be a revenant. This close to the village? Are you sure? What did it look like? We didn't get a good look, but it was bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Uh, would you... You would know a revenant if you saw one. I'll come to take a look for be sure, but I doubt it was anything dangerous. It was through those bushes. Strange, I don't see any trucks. You're sure this is the spot? If it's as big as you say, it should we have felt something like behind? I'm positive, but my I put my trap down right over there. Revenants dwell much deeper in the forest. For one to come this close to the edge of the village would be hardly unusual. What do you think we should do? You should be safe, but stay alert tonight just in case. I'll come by tomorrow to check again. If you're sure. So, what did Remy say? Is it safe here? He thinks so, but whatever it was, it was long gone by the time we got there. He said we should be alert just in case. Sorry. You seem so calm about this. Well, Remy is the only one in this village who has ever seen a revenant, so I'll take this word for it. But he didn't actually see it. Either way, it's getting late. Try to get some sleep, okay? <sighs> hey, Nathaniel, can I come in for a minute? Yeah, of course. What's up? I, I was hoping maybe you'd let me sleep in here with you tonight. You'd rather sleep on the floor in here? Then you're on your bed? I meant in your bed. My bed? Please. There's no way I'm getting any sleep alone tonight. Don't you think it would be kind of weird? I don't know if... I don't even know if we can both fit anymore. Oh, come on. Your bed is big enough for two people. Should I let Erin sleep in my bed? It should be fine. Alright, I guess, but only for tonight. <gasps> Thanks, Nathaniel. Don't worry about it, but you know, I'm always there for you. Even though you snore louder than a thunderstorm. What? No, we don't. Are you kidding? I can hear you all the way from your room. You're making that up. That's why I sleep in all the time. It keeps me up all night. Yeah, well, at least I don't drool all over my pillow. Okay, fair enough. You've got me there. By the way, can I borrow your shirt? Why? This top is uh, kind of uncomfortable to sleep in. I don't usually wear it too bad. Your shirt is pretty big enough, though. Can I just wear it that instead of this one tonight? <sighs> sure, I guess. But it's kind of dirty. I've been wearing it all day. I don't mind. Turn around for a second and close your eyes. Perfect. You can look now. What? You look ridiculous. Yeah, well, it's your shirt, not mine, remember? And you really don't mind it I've been wearing that all day? No, I actually kind of like it. it. Smells like you. Huh. Well, did you stand there? Let's get some sleep. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Good morning. Why don't we go check the trap? Do you really think it's a good idea to go out there again without Remy? I think it'll be fine. If we run into it again, maybe we can get a closer look. No way! You'd rather stay here alone? Come on, it'll be fine. If you say so. Nathaniel, look! Something is caught in your trap! You're right. I see it too. What is that thing? I don't know, but it's way bigger than the deer we caught a couple of days ago. What if it really is a revenant? Maybe we should get Remy. 
Well, it's stuck in the trap, so I should be fine no matter what it is. Stay back here. I'm going to check it out. Promise me you'll be careful. Careful. Whoa! It's safe to come out now, Erin. Looks like it wasn't a revenant after all. A boar! I didn't even know why they could get this. How they could get this big? I bet it weighs more than both of us put together. Between selling and preserving this, it will last us months. Right before the festival too. We'll have no problem selling all of this. Let's hurry up and get this thing home. We can bring what we can carry to the market. Then let Remy know that there is nothing to worry about. As long as we save some for the best parts, let's cook it up to celebrate tonight. Sounds good to me, but I'll need to use the hearth for a while when we get back from the market. I'll smoke the lean cuts to refill our stash of preserves. Don't let me stop you. I'm done. The hearth is all yours again, Erin. Thanks for doing all of this. I know that was a lot of work. No problem. There's part of me that enjoys this kind of thing, to be honest. I can tell you always look so relaxed when you're concentrating on something. Honestly, it's more relaxing just to know that we don't have to worry about food or money for a while. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going hungry for a while. I do think I feel like I'm starving now after all of that work, though. Do you think you could cook that celebration dinner a bit early? I don't mind an early dinner, but I was thinking about something different. Like what? Like maybe we could mix it up and you could try cooking dinner for us this time? Seriously? Sure, why not? You just said you enjoy preparing food, didn't you? I guess so, but preserving meat isn't really the same as cooking. Isn't it enough? Isn't it though? I really think you'd like it if I gave you, if I if you gave it a shot. Sorry, guys, I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna close the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.